to another edition of Fix 64. I'm Darren Hadley, and as you can see, I have uh, taken the heat sink off of the Minis Forum BD790i. Um, I had this in the uh, SG13 case from Silverstone Technologies, as I just showed, and it got a little toasty. The temperatures are mainly hovering around the 90 Celsius range. Um, I'm also going to change cases, and I thought I would try this Thermal Grizzly Face Sheet PTM. So it says to kind of draw an area out and sort of have it, you know, overlap a little. I hope. I get enough on there. Okay. Yeah, I think yeah, I need to make it a little bit bigger. Anyway, I will cut this out and then apply it. I had to put the face sheet in the uh, the refrigerator for like 15 minutes or so, so it's easier to work with. Okay. And all I did to remove the heat sink is I removed four screws out of the back, and then I'll show you when I reassemble it. Okay, I took the back plastic off, and now I'm fixing it to the heat sink. I overlapped a bit over, but there is a cutout on the heat sink that fits the processor perfectly. I guess this can take up to, what, 10 cycles or so for the temperatures to start going down after you've heated it up a few times. Anyway, I am reapplying the heatsink. This is like one of the easiest heatsinks I've ever dealt with because it's just four, four simple screws. Now the material that was on it previously could have been a face sheet and maybe I didn't give it enough time to take effect because it was, it was rather an odd, you know, it wasn't really thermal paste so I think it may have been this uh, face sheet ATM. But, yeah, I just did not like those temperatures. So we'll give this a shot, see if it brings them down. Also, I'm going to put it in a uh, thermal take, what is it, NR200 case, small form factor case. I could even try some other cases. Okay, it is back on, and we are ready to put the fan on. I have everything else installed, so I'm going to use a Noctua heavy-duty 2000 RPM fan. I had a, oh, I can't remember the name of it, it was the gray one, that's 1500. And it just was not providing enough cooling, I don't think, so I think this will really help move some more air through it. I wish Minis Farm would release one of these with, you know, so that you could just put your own cooling on it. 
would be so much better. Another nice thing would be an RGB header or two and a USB-C front panel header also. Okay. And screw that in. And we should be ready to throw it in another case. Alrighty. I'd also right now like to thank all of my new subscribers and my old subscribers and everyone viewing my videos. Thank you so much. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. I will see you all later.